welcome back check it out i redid my uh, model railroad index item uh to use some graphics and some text it's basically doing it the same way it did it before but now we're using plain text and we're using graphics a lot of people will like kind of want to know how to do this it's really easy you have to make sure you have the newest update to the super note let's see that right there that little icon Yes, that icon right there are the stickers. So there are built-in stickers. There's also stickers that you can make yourself. Uh, let's go into the built-in stickers. And we can take anything in here. They have lots of different varieties, but we can even take like something like this border. I can drag it down here like this. Now, you can make it any size you want, but let's say you might want to have like something inside that border. You can actually, like even if you just want to draw an X in there, you can do whatever you want inside that um, that picture, and it can become a new picture. Obviously, an X is a goofy thing. Now, let's say if we want to make um, a link, like you see here. We can do a link either by writing, like we could say, hello. So you can see, my writing is not horrible, but it's a little sloppy. If you want to take that text and turn it into an actual um text and not handwriting we can just erase that and what we can do is come up here we click those little dots right down here these i'll put an arrow those dots right there we're going to click there and we're going to call what's insert link and then we go to insert link we can either do a file name a full path or custom custom allows you to display text so what was the thing that we had there? We're just going to put down hello. So I'm just going to type the word hello. Now you can either handwrite this or type it um, using the handwriting here. And then we can link to uh, another page. Here, let's get rid of this little thing here. We can link to another page, a recent file, an other file, or a web page. I'm just going to link to another page in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page by using that little thing right there. I'm gonna hit OK. And now, here's our little thing. It's way up here. We have to drag it all the way down here, put it underneath, oops, come on. Sometimes it, it stalls because we're going too fast. Oops, okay, let me, now it's making a mark. All right, gonna hover over it or hold my pen on top of the word hello. Okay, and now it's gonna bring up an editor so we can move it again. I used the word hover in one of the uh, Supernote forums or something, and somebody didn't know what the heck I'm talking about. It's uh, press your, your pen on top of it. Okay, and so now you can see we have this thing, hello, above that icon. Now this just goes to our new page that we've added there. A lot of times what I do is I like to make, um, and let's get a aligned page here. So I like to make a title or a header. I'll just call this hello. And then I like to make a little arrow like this. Why make so many different little arrows? I'll show you something different in a second. So first of all, I'm gonna bring both of these to the top of the page. This one I wanna create into a header. So right here, we're just gonna put a header in there. That has a header now. This, I like to have my own built-in navigation. Now, there is navigation built into the system, but I like to do this because sometimes I have pages all over the place, and I like to be able to link to the last page I was at. So I can do that built in here. So I can go back and forth by clicking that little arrow and back to the hello again. As you can see, really cool. Um, what we can also do here, though, is stickers, right? We were talking about stickers earlier. Well, I built in a little demo folder here, the availability of just adding arrows. So like I have arrows here because I always have this like built-in navigation here. Uh, let's say we just want to draw a stick figure, right? Something so silly. Here, we'll just draw a stick figure. All we have to do is take our little lasso tool like that, go to these three little buttons here and put new sticker. We can then create a name for the sticker. So I'm going to call Stickman. Stickman is going to be the name. Now I just have to hit the word create. And I can go into that sticker folder, the demo sticker folder, and now I have Stickman. So I can have 
a few stick men, you know? I can come up and just keep adding stick men to my to my system. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. Um now they do have built-in stickers. I do love the built-in stickers. They're, you know, they have way better quality. Now, obviously if you're a icon artist or somebody like that, you're going to be able to make some really cool stickers uh that some of us can't really do as good as others. But they do have these built-in stickers that kind of fill the bill for different things. So all you have to do is, uh, is you know, go through them. But you can, yeah, you can use any of these. Let's just pick one of them. Let's pick this horse right here. As you can see, we can bring the horse in here. We can scale the horse. We can uh, do that. We can even add something to the horse. Maybe we want to add... Um, like some drawing maybe we want to add something like right here so he's got like a little drawing for a nose or whatever we want to give him some extra hair or whatever we can do whatever you want we can add to it and then we could save that sticker into our, our regular stickers so yeah you can do that and i have been doing that a lot with um the particular stickers like you know these different borders we can come in and we can add stuff to the borders uh, maybe you want to go with a different size pen and maybe you want to add like this is you know maybe it's like sunshine or something and whatever you want to do you can add it to something that's already existing but you know that's just um the the, the thing of using stickers now another thing i like to use stickers for is if i go in my demo here is i came up with a little way to make uh, a little grid so I can actually have like a small to-do list or some kind of grid in here. So like maybe I'll have like a watch video on something, the blah, 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 blah. And you can maybe build in some kind of little checklist. I did this using the straight line tool. So anytime you do this, okay, it didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let's try it again. Hold, and there we go. We got a straight line. I used the straight line tool, and I made this little grid. Then I turned that grid into a sticker. So now I have this, like, little grid I can add to any note. It's really kind of cool. You can do anything you want with stickers. So any kind of drawing that you have in the Notes app, you can turn into a sticker. You can also delete the stickers. I don't know if you can share stickers yet. I hope they make that available, us to be able to share stickers. So yeah, they've been adding a lot of cool new features to the Super Note. I really am enjoying it. So yeah, I really like uh, now that I can do this and have this really cool thing that normally you could only do on an Android or an iOS device. Now we can do that here in the Super Note. And you can make your own indexing look cool, look or more organized, look more professional. So yeah, that's what we're doing here. I'm just going to delete this one. All you have to do is delete it by using... Um, you know your eraser but yeah we have so much better ways of doing it now this is how i originally started i'm going to go back to my index this is how i originally started all my uh linking and indexing uh it still works but it's a little bit more sloppy but man i just love this super note it has been so awesome i've had it for going on seven months it's made me well more organized more productive and my original reason why I got the Super Note was to improve my eye strain issues. I was having super eye problems using my high contrast backlit displays for over 16 hours a day for my work and at home. I, eye doctor told me to switch to something like this since I have my eyes are no longer sore, no longer hurt, and it's saving me a lot of money from not going to the eye doctor. So yeah. This thing is awesome. So I highly suggest taking a look at the Super Note. It is absolutely one of the coolest, awesome devices I've ever used. Now, it's not meant to replace your iPad or your Android or anything else. It's a complimentary device, but man, this thing is really pretty cool. They've also added a couple new tools into this thing. They added this thing called Inkflow that turns this cool tablet into a pressure-sensitive tablet. 
for doing different things with things like Photoshop, Illustrator, other painting type applications. Yeah, so you can really use this to your advantage. It does so many cool things. They're always innovating, this company, Rata and the Super Note. So yeah, definitely take a look at it. I think you will definitely be happy with one of these.